Tichi Pande, thank you Jao, thank you Dr. Emad. I'm going to say a few things, uh, say a few words, and then you will have the opportunity to ask a few questions, and uh, we will bring the ceremony to a close. First and foremost, I think I need to apologize on behalf of the Honorable Minister, Honorable Mustafa Yusuf. He would have liked to be here, but his busy schedule, he's in Parliament at the moment, and uh, he's asked me to make you aware that his absence is with no disregard to you or no disrespect to the importance of the occasion, but it's because he's wearing many hats and duty calls that he should be in Parliament at the moment. The same thing goes for the Chief Director of the Ministry of Youth and Sports, and so they, are, they send all of you their apologies. But the, the, the minister has mandated me to represent him here and to make sure that you're very comfortable and to also let you know that he's been with us throughout. Uh, even this afternoon, he had a meeting with the team and all that. So he's well informed about what we are discussing this evening. Um, Dr. Chipande has made you aware of the opening and closing dates. I want to quickly add that the athletes and officials will be arriving from the 5th to 7th. So 5th, 6th, 7th. The interesting aspect also is that 6th of March is our Independence Day. And we want to give them the opportunity also to have a feel of how we celebrate our Independence Day. This year we'll be, we are 66 years, so uh, in 2024 we'll be 67. And don't forget that our first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, was one of the founding fathers of the uh, African Games. So it'll be very interesting to see how our brothers will be joining us to celebrate our independence. You remember he said the independence of Ghana is meaningless unless it's linked the total liberation of Africa. So it's an opportunity for us to bring the entire Africans together. And one of the key objectives of the African Games is unity. And another, another key pillar is peace. And if you consider what is going on on the continent, it would be a very good opportunity for us to pr uh, promote peace, <coughs> unity, solidarity, brotherliness, and to ensure that will create a very, very important opportunity for the youth and for the growth and development of Africa. I will want to also say that, and thank you to General Nasa, who is not here at the moment. Uh, General Nasa has worked tirelessly with us. He, he, he was here last week. He came here on, on Wednesday and spent time also, met our Federation heads. So he had interactions with the Federation heads and promised us his support. Today, for instance, we've had about uh, two or three uh, telephone discussions. I've had th two or three telephone discussions with him. And he promised to make sure that we have some of the sporting disciplines as qualifiers for the Olympics. Olymp Remember, 2024 will be the Olympic year and we will have uh, the Paris 2024. And so when we met in Addis uh, last week, the president directed, as I told you last week, that we should dovetail our plans into the plans of uh, the stakeholders and make sure that we have some of the disciplines as qualifiers for the Olympics. Why? It gave the, the games the needed value the athletes will also, top athletes will want to participate. It will also assist in the marketing of uh, the, the, the games. It will also, will be, will be ensuring that the entire world will focus on the games. So in terms of the marketing aspect, if the games, most of them, uh, the disciplines are Olympic qualifiers, they go a long way to ensure that it's a great value is added to the games. As we speak now, General Nasser, who is the president of UXA, 
UXA is the Association of African Sports Confederations. And uh, together with ANOCA, Yao has also given us his um, confirmation with regards to some of the sporting disciplines that will serve as qualifiers for the Olympics. And so together we have about, um, about 13, no, about 12 for now. I will, there are a few, at, I will put an asterisk on uh, archery. Uh, General Nasser has given us the full assurance that archery will be a qualifier, but we don't have archery. I'm not sure most of us are very much are even aware of, of that sporting discipline. So, so we, will, we are thinking of, he's giving us this word that if we want to promote archery, this is the right opportunity for us to try and promote it. But there are a few things that we need to sort out with regards to the federation, the establishment of the federation, those who are going to be in charge. We have every, uh, the promise is that the African Federation head will be in Ghana to assist and to give us all the needed uh, equipment that we will need for archery. I need to also add that we are doing this with also the full support of the Anoka president, President Mustafa Baraf. He was also with us in Addis, as well as Her Excellency uh, Minata Susumo, who is the Commissioner Health, Humanitarian Affairs, and uh, Social Development. They've all played important roles to get us this far. I need to quickly reiterate also that we cannot thank the President enough for what he did for us in Addis, spending five hours sitting quietly and waiting for us to have the meeting with all the stakeholders. And we want to also say, I want to once again thank him for all that he did for us in Addis. We are extremely grateful, as well as His Excellency uh, Mustafaki, his Faki Mahamat, the chairperson of AU, who was also there with us and ensured that the issues were well resolved amicably and also has led to all this. All of them are interested in we having some of the disciplines uh, as Olympic qualifiers. Uh, my good friend Bauer is here. He's the CEO of Athletics. And you know Athletics uh, play a very, very important role. So Athletics definitely is going to be part of us, part of the, uh, the disciplines uh, for, the, for the games or part of the disciplines of the games, and also as qualifiers. I will give him the opportunity to throw a bit of light on that when I finish. Badminton, we are guaranteed that is going to be a qualifier for the Olympics. We, have, we are also guaranteed that uh, basketball, and basketball will be three by three. Uh, beach volleyball, cycling, gymnastics, uh, Jido, they've all promised to also give us the needed support. Swimming is also going to be one of uh, the disciplines slated for, slated as Olympic qualifier. Uh, tennis, table tennis, triathlon, and once again, that falls also in the domain of the CEO of Athletics, uh, Mr. Baba Fuseni. Volleyball and wrestling. These are the disciplines that, God willing, will be Olympic qualifiers. I'm going to stop here and give you the opportunity to ask a few questions, and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, Mr. Baba, opportunity to give uh, us from Ghana to be in, uh, here with our colleague from African Union, the owner of the game, and the local organizing committee in Ghana, they work hard to keep all of us together in one hand to let this uh, African game uh, very, very, very unique. And we will do for that. My colleague, uh, Dr. Joao, say we will do together the best of uh, our efforts to 
come with the local organizing committee to follow what uh, his, uh, uh, the president of the country give us uh, his hand to help all of us to have the agreement, three partite agreement with the local organizing committee to be with you today. Thank you for the media. You will have a very hard work from now to the end of the tournament to be with us because we need all Africa see all African game Ghana 2023. Thank you very much. Thank you, Doc. And now to the moment where we can wait for the announcement of the moon gift for the test. Let's put our hands together for that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, all protocols observed. Um, yeah, I would uh, like to echo the sentiments that were firstly raised by um, our distinguished colleagues here and stakeholders, um, Anoka and Uksa, on thanking you, the media, uh, of course, starting by the chairperson of the LOC, on thanking you, the media, for your presence this evening, as you are, you know, a great stakeholder in terms of sports development and in the organization of a successful organization of the African Games um, here in Ghana. And uh, I would also, also, of course, like to thank um, the local organizing committee uh, led by um, um, Dr. Fusu Asare and, and his entire team, the Ministry of Sports, uh, Youth and Sports, um, led by uh, the Honorable Minister of Youth and Sports and, and His Excellency the President of the Republic um, for the great hospitality that we've been accorded here in Ghana and for the great investment that the Republic of Ghana has put into um, hosting successful 2023 African Games. And as my um, um, esteemed colleagues and uh, stakeholders have already pointed out, you know, following the negotiated agreement on the unity, on the tri tripartite approach 